Today, we're going to tell you about some exciting changes available with the latest software update for your Garmin smartwatch. You can view a complete list of the supported products for this release in the description. You will automatically receive the update if your watch is paired to the Garmin Connect smartphone application or if you have enabled Wi-Fi sync. First, let's talk about the new Smart Wake Alarm. When enabled, the Smart Wake Alarm creates a 30-minute window for your Garmin device to attempt to wake you with optimal timing based on your night's sleep. For example, if you set your alarm for 8 a.m., the alarm may gently alert you to wake up sometime between 7.30 and 8 a.m. Your alarm will always go off at the selected time. To set up the Smart Wake Alarm, Open your alarm settings and toggle on Smart Wake Alarm. Custom focus modes on select Garmin smartwatches allow you to temporarily control a variety of watch settings while the watch is in specific situations, such as during your scheduled sleep times or during an activity. During these situations, with the new custom focus modes, you can change the volume, keep your display on, lock the touchscreen, and much more. Let's set up a quick custom focus mode to see some of these details. From your watches menu, open Watch Settings, followed by Focus Modes. Scroll down and select Add. Then pick a focus situation type. Next, name the custom focus mode. Then select an icon and color. Now, select the custom focus mode to change its settings. Here, you can make any adjustments, add alerts, or change sound and display settings. The next feature we will discuss is the expanded morning report. Now your morning report can include additional details on your sleep, recovery, daily calendar, HRV status, and more. You can even customize your report's theme, data, and more. To make changes to your morning report, open the watch settings. Then select notifications and alerts, followed by report settings. Select morning report. Select Edit Report to change any settings. Now your watch can provide an evening report to help remind you of sleep needs, upcoming weather, tomorrow's workout, and events. To make changes to your evening report, open the watch settings, then select Notifications and Alerts, followed by Report Settings, select Evening Report, Select Edit Report to change any settings. Your watch now includes a built-in calculator app. This makes calculations easier on the go, like splitting the tab. From your Activities and Apps list, open the calculator app. To split bills, first enter in the total and select Tip. On the next screen, Provide the tip percentage and amount of people to view the per person total. Next, let's talk about the rucking activity. This allows you to record and track key metrics like pace, distance, and your pack weight. You can also set targets for distance, time, and pace. When you first use the rucking activity, you will be asked to enter a pack weight. This setting is saved as a fixed weight for the activity but can be adjusted at any time in the activity settings. The pack weight addition allows you to enter a weight for activities such as running, hiking, and walking. Your watch can now record mobility activities. This is a great addition helping you log your recovery mobility workouts. You can download configured mobility workouts from the Garmin Connect smartphone application.
To start these workouts, open the Mobility Activity. Scroll down and select Training, followed by Workout Library. Your downloaded workouts will appear here. The next addition we will talk about is Track Detection Enhancements. Now you can enable track detection during your run activity. While enabled, your watch will detect your loops and improve your accuracy. Our next addition is the Garmin Triathlon Coach. Get prepared for your next triathlon by setting up a free triathlon training plan right in the Garmin Connect smartphone application. Once set up, the app and your watch will provide personalized workouts based on performance, recovery, and health metrics. For more information about this feature, see our Garmin Triathlon Coach video. Along with the Garmin Triathlon Coach, we have added Triathlon Race Event Support. This allows you to set up your upcoming triathlon event details in Garmin Connect, including customizing the distance, goals, and transitions for each leg. On your watch, you can view the primary race glance for details on your upcoming event. Now you can create custom step-by-step multi-sport workouts in the Garmin Connect smartphone application and send them to your watch to seamlessly switch between different sport types. You can also make adjustments to each leg of your multi-sport activity. Simply open the workout app from your activities and app list on your watch to use your new workout. Your watch now includes auto lap by timing gates. While following a course, it will recognize the course points when you cross a mile or kilometer. An auto lap will trigger at the course point instead of using the GPS based miles or kilometers. Next, we'll talk about suggested finish line. Your watch will now suggest trimming the activity to when you pass the finish line if you forget to stop your activity during an active course. This includes finishing mileage and time. We have also enhanced the layout for the performance glances for running and cycling. The layout will now be in a glance folder view, providing more details including running economy and hill score on capable devices. Let's discuss the new projected race time feature. While viewing the primary race glance on your watch, you will see a projection time in blue. This is the projected finish time on the day of the event. It will adjust based on your training. Your projected race times appear for 5K, 10K, half marathon, and marathon distances. Next, we will discuss the new addition to daily suggested workouts. Your watch will now provide daily suggestions for the track run activity. These suggestions are adapted based on your performance and recovery, but can include tempo, threshold, VO2 max, anaerobic, and sprint workout types. The next three features we will discuss are only available when using an HRM600 heart rate monitor during outdoor activities. First, we will talk about step speed loss. Step speed loss is a running metric measuring the difference between your forward speed when you first hit the ground and your minimum forward speed. Understanding how much you slow down after each step can improve your running form as you train. Next, we will talk about running tolerance. Running tolerance is an overview of each of your runs and how they are impacting your body. This new glance will provide recommended weekly maximum mileage to help you train more productively. The last feature available with your HRM 600 is running economy. This measures your long-term running volume, stride length, and step speed loss, providing overall energy efficiency while running. 